Are you in the real estate business and want to create your own app but have absolutely no coding knowledge? Well, let me show you how you can build your own app without coding knowledge utilizing JotForm apps. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and like I mentioned, if you are wanting to create your own app but really don't have any knowledge of how to build an app, JotForm makes it so simple. So let me show you how to get started. I'm gonna head to the very top left-hand corner. We're gonna choose where it says My Forms and we're gonna switch over to My Apps. From here, again, top left, we're gonna choose that purple create app button. And for this example, we can either start from scratch if you know exactly how you want your app to look. But for me, I always love to start with a template when it comes to apps because I want to get my creative juices flowing and they are completely editable. So let's go ahead and jump over to use template. And I'm gonna go ahead and search all of our templates. Let's just go ahead and do a quick search for real estate. And I can see that we have one app that has real estate in the title, but you can see the purple section right above where it says real estate, there's 12 templates. So this is going to be all the apps that we have that are around property, home, or real estate. So we can take a scroll through here, but I'm gonna go ahead and utilize that very top app that came up first for the real estate app. Let's go ahead and preview and we'll use template. Now, one thing I like to do before I make any changes to any type of template is I always wanna do a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So let's go ahead and do that. We can see that we have some properties right here. We have some pictures. We even have a call seller button. We have another one, same thing, pictures, call seller. And then we also have, would you like to sell your property? Then I can see there's like this gap and it says add a page. So I can see that there is a whole different page. And right down here in the bottom left hand corner, we can see the number of pages this app has. We have the buyer's homepage and then we have the seller's homepage. So right down here, we can see this second page is going to be that of the seller. So let's go ahead and start editing what this app looks like. So if we head up to this top right hand corner at the paint roller, this is going to be our form designer. This is where we can change the complete aesthetic of our app. Now, if you want to use an overall theme, we can do that but we can also individually edit what this looks like. So we can see we have an ombre effect going up where we have the gray at the top and then the brown at the bottom. But if you have a picture that represents your brand, you can always choose a file to put into the background. So let's go ahead and let's say my colors are gray and this blue color. So now we can see that ombre of gray to blue. Next, we can also come up here and we can edit this header. So we can see that we have this logo up at the top, looks like a building, and we can see under logo, we're under icons, and we can choose from lots of different icons. And let's see, let's see if there's anything for home. I think that's cute with a heart in the middle. Now, if you again have a specific image for your brand, you can jump over to the image tab and you can remove the icon and you can upload your own image. But let's go back. I really like that house with the heart. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. Now, if we head over to general, this is where we can change the name of our app and we can also add a description. So let's go ahead and change the name of our app to be our business's name. And for this example, our business's name is Homes for Sale. And the app description is pretty good for buyers and sellers. And we can see that we are completely updated right up here. Now, if you are familiar with JotForm Form Builder, everything in here is going to be very similar to our Form Builder. So if I come over here and I click on these, we can see that this one is a heading. We can add an element. We can see this right here is that heading. So we can choose the gear, our properties, and we can change the heading text. We can add a subheading text. We can change the color. We can change that heading size. Let's say, you know what? I want this to be large. We can make it a little bit bigger. And next up, we can see that we have these pictures and it looks like it is one image, but one thing that you can also do over on the left-hand side, if I scroll down, we can even add in an image slider. So that way you can add multiple images and people can slide through all of the images take a look at your house. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this just for the sake of keeping our app nice and clean. Now, if I click on this button right here, let's look at the properties. So whenever you add a button, and again, over on the left-hand side, up at the top, we can easily add a button. We have the option to make the button visit a URL, send an email, make a call, navigate to a specific page in our app, or we can have it open a form. So as of right now, we can see it says call seller. We have make a call, then we have our phone number. And then the same thing right down here, we have call seller again, make a call and then the phone number. And then we see right here, would you like to sell a property? Now this is going to navigate to a page and we can see that it is navigating to the seller's homepage, which is going to bring them down to this bottom one. 
Now, one thing that we can do on this page right down here, over on the left-hand side, again, would you like to sell a property? We need to get information from them. So we need for them to fill out a form. So on the left-hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a button right about here. And we can choose to open a form. Now we need to select which form. So I want it to be sell my house, select that form. And we can also change the style of what this button looks like. We can change the style. We can make the corners rounded. We can have the button take up the full width and we can even change it to be left, right, center, depending on if we have it full or not. We'll go ahead and leave that back to center. Let's go ahead and go back to general. Now this is to have a button to go to the form. Another thing that we can do is we can add the form directly to our app. So let's go ahead and delete this button. Right up here at the top, we have our form. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this in. Again, sell my house, we'll add to forms. If I click on the properties of this option, we can add a form description. And we can also, instead of having pretty much a type of button, a form button, we can also choose to show the form within our app so they don't have to navigate anywhere. So here we can see that form perfectly and it fits perfectly as well, which is great. Now, again, if we need to edit this form, we just choose the orange edit form button and we can make those changes here within the JotForm form builder. Now, one last thing I wanna share with you right up here, again, we have these two properties in our listing and maybe over on the left-hand side, at the very bottom, we can add in a map. So if we bring this in, we can choose the properties option and we can enter in the exact latitude and longitude to show people exactly where this house is located to make it really easy for them to find. Now, one last thing, if I head up to settings, we have the ability to change the app name and the icon again, we called ours homes for sale. And then we have our icon right down here. Again, if we wanna edit that icon, we can. We can even change the color from here. And then we can also change that splash screen. Right now it's a gray color. So if we do wanna customize that, we can. We can change what that color looks like. Maybe a little bit lighter gray to make homes for sale and that icon pop. But this is good. If we head over to publish, we can copy this link to share it with the world. But let's go ahead and do a quick preview of our app. And as you can see, the preview mode automatically is going to populate on a mobile view. If for any reason you'd like to view it on a tablet or a desktop, you can do that as well. But let's go ahead and take a scroll. So we have that Jackson Avenue. We have our pictures. Again, if you want to add a slider to add multiple pictures, you can definitely do that. We know exactly where this address is. Perfect. And you know what? Yes, I do want to sell my home. Let's go ahead and click here. I want to sell my home. We have all of our information and it's already pre-filled for me, which is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down, add my address, the, the house I want to sell. And we have our phone number and we'll go ahead and submit. Perfect. Now, if we go ahead and turn off our preview app, if I head up to the top left-hand corner, we're currently again in the app builder. Let's go ahead and go back to my apps. We'll choose my apps again, head to my tables. Let's go ahead and view the table for sell my house. And here we can see the app source, the homes for sale. We see the person, their email address and phone number of the house that they want to sell. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to create your own real estate app with JotForm apps with no coding necessary, definitely let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.